as a chemist since I was born and now I am getting old. I have never had that or seen fuel that looks like water. I have never seen such in my life. As you can see in this bottle, you can see so a liquid that is going into the bottle. Can you see that liquid? That is fuel refined from Dangote's refinery in Lagos. As you can see, it is just like water. So Dangote is talking. Let us hear from Aliko Dangote, owners of Dangote refinery, so that he will explain to us why fuel that is supposed to, you know the way fuel looks like, all of a sudden, fuel from his refinery, according to him, looks like water, because I have not seen before as a chemist. Let us hear from him. Let us know why all of a sudden fuel now looks like water. You can't differentiate it Hello, with water. Hello, good morning. Ayo, good morning. I'm not sure who's in studio, Dr. Reben, uh, Rufai, I'm not sure who's in there. But of course, it's another momentous occasion. We're here live at the Dangote Refinery and Petrochemical Complex. Uh, of course, first time in 28 years, we are having a petroleum, pro petrol PMS premium motor spirits being uh, produced in Nigeria. And uh, with me, of course, I have the president uh, himself of the Dangote Group, as well as Fatima Dangote and Mr. Edwin, Edwin Devakuma. These are very familiar faces, of course, but uh, we ha we're quite pressed for time. So I just want to ask what, let's just capture your sentiment on what this moment represents for you as a group. I know a lot of work is happening. You've had a colorful few months, uh, last few months, but let's talk about what this represents. Of course, you're holding the very liquid gold right now. Well, this represents, uh, you know, a very historic, monumental, uh, you know, achievement, which I think I must congratulate the people of Nigeria and uh, the government of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu for giving us all the support to be where we are today. Uh, this achievement, really, you are right, in the last 28 years, we haven't really had this sort of achievement, but you can see that even... Uh, uh, there are some videos of 1974 which we have fuel queues and those fuel queues that are still here this will eliminate all fuel queues in Nigeria this will improve the health of everybody this will also make sure that you know uh, there is consistent supply to the market it will also bring the real demand of PMS no paper transaction it will also help to make sure that uh, you know it corrects this distortion of the Naira, bring stability to the Naira, bring uh, growth and deploy, growth development and prosperity. So we want to thank Nigerians for being behind us to be where we are today. But this is a very very historic moment. It certainly is, and there's so much to look forward to. Of course, you're holding the priced uh, material, the priced gold here. Fatima, of course, you and Edwin have also been a part of this process. How do you feel about this moment? We spoke earlier, and which I will update our audience later about, you know, when things are going to happen, when it will hit the market. Of course, that's subject to the NNPC, but let's get your, your brief sentiments on it very quickly. Well, um, history has been made. Um, we're really excited, and we're glad and happy to be um, part of this history and the ones making... Um, uh, the history is an exciting time for us uh, and I'm sure it's an, uh, an exciting time for uh, the whole of Nigeria as well. So we're really excited to be here today to witness this history being made. This one is the uh, gasoline, this is the PMS. Uh, you can see the diesel, you know, because I'm sure most Nigerians they have never ever seen this uh, color of diesel. But this is what you call Euro 5 diesel. It's less than 10 ppm. And, uh, you know, I mean, that is sulfur-wise. Okay, so this is what will really help, actually, to help the engines, vehicles, you know, you name it, you know, generators, it will, they will last much, much longer. The health of people to the environment will not be polluted. This is the real thing. Euro 5 diesel for the first time in the history of Nigeria.